I hope you burn in hell. I hope you, you burn in hell and I hope your kids get bone cancer. Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. It's gonna be a short one, but I wanted to go ahead and say this right up front. This is my opinion. I love the First Amendment of the Constitution because it gives me the right to have an opinion. But, but let's talk about it. Just, just to let you know, just so it covers my ass. Uh, it's really cool to have a right, right? <laughs> especially when somebody's trying to take that right of uh, freedom of speech away from you. Uh, especially if you're spitting out truths. Um, I wonder who would be doing that. So I made a uh, community post about three days ago where I was talking about how Michael E. Line, uh, the lawyer that didn't go to school to be a lawyer, he heard that Kim Kardashian became a lawyer without being a scholar and uh, took the bar a few times and finally became a lawyer without going to school to do so. And he's an alpha male. Um, he is a personal injury attorney, I believe. Um, so I made a post. I made a post. Uh, and also, let me go ahead and say this too. He, he's a Marine. Uh, he was a Marine. He was never deployed, from what we could tell. He was never deployed. I guess he was a Marine, but not a on-the-ground Marine. Um, he gets on these streams, and he's dressed up in these Marine fatigues and pretends that he cares about veterans, when clearly this will show you that he does not care about veterans. So in the past uh, few years, you guys probably watched Chile, and there's been several videos where he's actually harassed veterans and soldiers uh, and service members just because. Uh, I don't know why he doesn't like veterans. He'll, he'll say he does now because Michael E. Lines here and he was a Marine. But I don't know if Michael knows or has been through Chile's content enough to know, but Chile has regularly disrespected and harassed veterans and service members. Um, it's kind of weird because you had a stream where you brought bikers that were veterans you're talking about how much you love them but you're simping for a guy that disrespects veterans and you're supposed to be a marine and a, and a law lawyer dude really really and it's weird it's really weird so when i made that post on a community page it's like oh sure maybe he will think oh man maybe maybe he's a bad guy but no 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 that's not what happened so what happened is right here if you take a look, I've made this post, and I'm going to assume that he did not want this out here. I don't know if he did it or one of his little goons did it, but some people don't like the truth, and this would actually hurt him, especially if he's somebody that says he cares about veterans. Now, you see, this post is no longer available. I did attach Michael Eline to this, and this was I didn't know this was <laughs> removed for at least a day or two. But I went ahead and just shared that on a community page. Went ahead and shared it. That way, you know, just in case, just in case you need to remember, it's right here. Um, I, I wonder why, I really wonder why somebody would not want people to see that. It, it makes me wonder, right? It makes me wonder. Uh, an American patriot that was a Marine simping for a guy that regularly harassed and disrespected veterans and service members. Not just the police. Michael, you're a lawyer. You have a business. You're live streaming on a guy's channel saying you're a Marine Alpha male, saying he's the boss, the late loss, Chili DeCastro, who's the main man, the big guy who knows everything. You're saying you care about veterans. You care about service members. And you're sticking up for a guy that regularly harasses service members and veterans. Not only that, has a known history on TikTok for being racist. Probably hasn't told you that. He actually got kicked off TikTok for racism. That's true. That is true. He also wished bone cancer on children. That's true, too. That's also really true. A guy that also has a domestic abuse record. That is also true. So let me get this straight. You're a lawyer. You, uh, is this Better Call Saul? Like, are you Saul Goodman? Like, you, you, is, is this what you're, is this your, your, this is your thing? Like, you're Saul Goodman? Like, you say you're, I'm for the veterans and the Marines, but man, I sure do love me some chili. Chili's good. Love it. Love me some chili. 
And it's also funny that a lot of your uh, commenters, whenever I reply to you guys and ask, hey, do you guys support domestic violence and bone cancer for children? None of them will reply to it. None of them. Is, are they afraid of something? Are they afraid to speak up for that? Are they, are they afraid? Are you afraid to say something about that? There's proof. I can should give you the video. I posted it several times in your live stream the other day. That way you could see it. Nah, nah, nah. I guess you hate kids too. I, I guess you want kids that have bone cancer too. Ah, it's amazing. Kids and bone cancer for the fraud editors. They just love it. They love beating their wives and they love bone cancer for children. That's just my opinion though. I'm just a man with an opinion. My First Amendment opinion. Hey, Michael, E-Line. I know that was probably you that got that taken down. Every time you take that down, I'm going to repost it. I'm going to post and post and post, and I'm going to post it on Twitter, post it on Reddit, I'm going to post it on Facebook, I'm going to post it on X, whatever. Whatever it is, I'm going to post it. It's going to stay alive. Um, that's not a threat. That's, that's an actionality. I'm allowed to First Amendment protest you. Uh, this isn't slander. This is not slander. This is my opinion. But I am going to post it. I'm going to keep posting it. And hopefully, maybe your biker friends will see hey, this guy's a fraud. This guy says he cares about veterans, but yet simps for some guy that regularly harasses service members and veterans. Man, that's fucking cool, right? Fucking awesome. Love you, Mike.